Hey, so I'm here with Dr. James. Hey, Jackson. Founder, hey, guys, how's it going? of Healthy Scoop and the formulator of the Healthy Scoop products. Um, I just want to ask you, why do you wake up so damn early? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a good question. My wife, after 25 years, honey, why are you waking up so early? Geez, really? Well, I got to tell you, Jackson, you know, I've been a real, like you, I'm, I'm a student of success. And not success uh, in material ways, but more about spiritual and emotional and physical success, about giving yourself permission to really attract into your life all the things you want to. Uh, as a student of this, I I've learned that in the morning, there's an opportunity. It's a physiological window where you can literally lay down a chemistry for success. And so I get up every morning at 4 a.m. And I have since I, so I, in fact, I've been doing that now for over 35 years. Wow. I started when I was in my teens. And, and I love the idea because I know that early in the morning, um, that's when our cortisol levels are highest. And I've always said, if you can give your cortisol a job to do, then you will actually make yourself one of the most unbelievably successful human beings, physiologically, hormonally, and I believe that really shows up in your creativity. Dang. Yeah, so I mean, like, what, what have you found to be the most like immediate or even long-term benefit of waking up early? Well, I think the biggest things I've seen, there, there's four things that I know that I really want to commit to each and every morning. And those four things, the first thing in the morning, uh, when I wake up, it's just right after, usually two, two minutes after four, without an alarm clock, it's been just kind of dialed in, two minutes after four. And I wake up, and the first thing I do is I close my eyes again for about a minute, and I, and I set in my mind's eye what my mission is for the day. What kind of dad I want to be? What kind of husband I want? What kind of friend I want to be? What kind of uh, supporter to you uh, and you know the, the, the world community? What can we do to show up? And you have to really give yourself permission to have a vision for that. So that's my first thing. Number one is mission. Number two is movement. I'm a huge fan of sweating my prayers each and every day. Um, I love to say that if I can break a sweat by 4.30, it's going to be an amazing day. And I always do what I can to do to create a sweat by 4.29 because I know what happens with that. You build your dopamine, you build your serotonin, and you give cortisol a job to do. So it's not gonna be stressing you out, it's used as an energy source. Dopamine and serotonin, happiness and confidence. So those two things are working for you. And right after that, I go into meditation. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, um, and Jackson and I talk about this a lot when we're hanging out, you know, the, the power of your mind and its, re and its relationship to making every part of your life work better, when you get your gray matter to really be fulfilled with what happens under movement, what happens after missioning, but when you go into meditation, your gray matter literally builds, it actually expands the size of your brain. And you find after exercise, it's really even better? Well, here's how I love to look at it. If I'm gonna meditate, I wanna meditate under the influence of dopamine. I, I wanna meditate with my fuel being serotonin. So after I exercise, I know dopamine's high, serotonin's high. I go into that meditation with those two neurochemicals forefront of my meditation, my creativity, my, my, my vision, the way that I actually can see the world, oh my gosh, it goes up exponentially. Think about when you meditate after, you know, you're, you're tired, you're not inspired, you sit down, you fall asleep, you go, that was a lousy meditation. I am literally sweating, I crawl into my little, my little cushion, I sit there, and I know my brain's going, wow, what are you going to create today? And then from there, I go right into my plant-based muesli. I had a, a scoop of healthy scoop. I put in my nuts, my hemp, my flax, and all these other awesome things because how you cement the deal was with your blood sugar. All the good studies on grit say you could have a steady flow of glucose to your brain, and that's going to help you re never forget who you really are. And I think, Jackson, uh, the thing I know in your work and the work I, I try to aspire to be, you know, when you're listening to this, you're looking at it, you're going, oh my goodness, what does it mean for you? Here's what it really means for you. Each and every day, you can use your own chemistry as a conspiracy for awesome or for average. You're a pharmacy. You're a, you're a pharmacy that's spiritually, emotionally, and physically gifted to open the pharmaceutical door that's naturally occurring inside of us and have it flourish through us. And you can decorate your life under the influence of that experience. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. You got it, buddy. Peace out. <laughs>